Let's take a look at what happens after we stop a Zoom meeting. I, you see, I've got two different users going on. I've got my front view and I've got my laptop next to me. And if I choose to record to the local computer, then we see in the top left that it's recording. But how do we see these recordings? Well, what we can do is when we're all done with our meeting, we'll click End, and I'll choose End Meeting for All. And now what's going to happen is we're going to see this Convert Meeting Recording just pop up. And if it's been a long meeting, it's going to take a long time to get through that. And then take a look. We've got several different files that automatically get created. Now, where it says Zoom 1, that's typically going to be the video here. So I'm going to choose Open With. I'll choose QuickTime, but you could also choose Media Player if you want. And just to confirm that it works. And there we go. We see the recording showing up in QuickTime. If you want to just look at the audio, you can take a look at that as well. Now, besides that, if we go to a previous recording, uh, we can also take a look at the chat. So if you had any chat going on, then you can see that. And it'll show both private chats as well as public chats. Now, these are chats that I've done with other people, so I'm not going to show you that. But uh, it just shows up in a text file. You just open it up, and you can see all the chats that, that took place. And if you're looking just for audio only, say, to post uh, on a website or something to allow people to be able to see that or hear that, I should say, then choose the larger of the two files, and you can upload that, and you'll hear the audio, but there won't be any video. So that's how you can view, hear, and see the chats, as well as the video, from your Zoom meeting.